Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to upload a file to a FTP server from your Android app and we'll do it in Java. So let me begin. Let me create a big project. Upload file to FTP. And then I'll click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. In the meantime, I can just quickly show you that I have created a FTP server on the local uh, LAN network 192.168.1.1 and probably we can use this particular folder to upload our file from our Android app and the dependency what we will use is the Apache common nets so we can use the latest version which is 3.10.1 so I'll just copy this and go back to my environment it is still loading so we may have to wait so environment has come up now so first and foremost what I'll do is I'll just Include the dependency which just now I copied. Control V. Okay, so it's asking me to change it to the new library, replace with new library catalog. Yeah, so just do it. So I can just quickly show you where it has gone. So it has gone to this particular file over here. It has made an entry for common nets over this, and then we are fetching it from over here. So version is 3.10.0. Okay, nevertheless, now the other thing what I'll need is I'll need a, to update my manifest file. So in manifest file, we will need few permissions, say for example, permission for accessing internet, permission to access the read, media images. So we will upload a media file, image file from my local uh, Android phone to the remote uh, yeah, server, FTP server. I don't think I will need this Wi-Fi state and all, but yeah, there were harms to get all this access over here. Perfect. So in terms of access that's all i need so i'll do one thing in my java code first and foremost i'll make sure that i get the access to so access this read permission from the user rest of the things are anyway passive you'll automatically get it as long as you're defined in the manifest file but for read media images you may have to explicitly ask the end user new string Okay, you may have to press Alt Enter to include it and then package no package manager dot permission granted. Yeah. So this line will be responsible to get the required permission from the end user. So apart from this, no, we'll I'll quickly jump to the layout part. So in the XML, by default we get is a text view. I think I'll keep this text view as it is, but apart from that, I'll do one thing. I'll add a couple of other uh, text, plain text. One will be for username, okay, and the other one will be for password. Yeah, so username probably I'll hard code here. FTP admin, since I know it, uh, that's what my username is. But if you need something else, you may always overwrite it. And password, of course, I don't know, so I'll take it as an input. Finger done. So I can give some hint over here that is enter password. And then I'll put a button to trigger my access. So upload the file. So I'll just go here, give some constraints to this button, and upload the file for this too okay i'm not doing very fine graphics but i think that's fine so this i'll change it very text username and over here the password will be edit text password um, so that's fine in this hello world i think i'll use it to in the status so text view status is what i can give it and I think more is I'm fine. I can increase the size of the text which is displayed here to 24 SP column. So in my Java code, first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll define some other class variable. Two will be for edit text. One is edit edit text username, and the other one could be edit text password. Okay, and one I'll define is for the text. Text view 
and in the on create method itself i will make sure that i assign this to the right widgets finally by id r dot id dot edited password so this is for the first one for edit text username similarly i will do find r dot id dot username and the last one is the text field find by id r dot id dot text view etc and then i'll define a public method over here which i can associate with the button on grid so public void button upload file view view okay i'll quickly go back to my layout and in this button on click attribute i'll set it that particular method which we have just notified so that's all in terms of layout i think layout part are done and now i can start the putting the logic so first and foremost i'll assign something called ftp client and new ftp client is what i'll do then i'll connect it to a ip host name or it could be host name or ip so my ip i know is 192.168.1.1 if you i can go back quickly this is my ip 192.168.1.1 and okay this give me some error probably to put it try catch yeah i'll do that so i think anyway it's always good to do all these things in the, within the try catch uh, what else i need is i also need to login login uh, username and password so anyway i am getting the username from the get text to string so this is my username and the password again i will get it from the password edit text again get text to string so no username and password is done okay before i continue i will also have to make sure that i can i am accessing some file from my emulator okay wait one minute i should also start my emulator in parallel so that i can access the file in the meantime i will continue my coding so there is something called a storage manager which i can get from system service a storage service is what i need probably i may have to cache it over here yeah so let my emulator also come up in parallel so it's asking access to the uh files yeah this is because of this line of the code so just do allow all and that's all things are as it is so i'll go to the files i have few files so probably i can use the first file images.jpg for this experiment purpose so i'll go back here and probably i can minimize it for now so i've already got a storage manager so from a storage manager i'll go get something called a storage volume a storage volume a storage here dot get a storage volume dot get zero is i think for the internal zero for internal storage and then for the storage volume i can get the file no not file integrity file file image image file it is the visual file image to upload whatever and then i can do new file and from a storage volume get directory dot get path so this will give me up to the root then from here i'll have to probably append download which is basically okay if i go back here which is basically download and then images dot jpg although the name here says downloads but the name in the code will be download not s s one there and then image images dot jpg so now i have got my file name so i can continue here i'll also do one more thing before continue because we are doing everything over internet over network so we may have to spin a separate thread we can't do everything on the main thread or as a workaround as quick work workaround although not recommended i'll define my own thread policy so you permit all dot sorry yeah i am repeating this is not recommended but just 
uh, for the uh, quick fix I am doing this in this as a workaround but in the actual uh, app code I will make sure that I put it in a separate uh, thread probably I can just run it in a separate thread yeah anyway I will continue here uh, more or less this will work so here uh, once we have got everything I can create the uh, input stream from this file image now so probably I can do it outside the track as also over here probably before when the connection is made I can do it over here input stream input stream new file input stream and I can use my file image for the input stream here again there is something I think it should work so we can use this also No, I think it's asking me to add a closure. So definitely I'll do a closure here input stream dot close. It's always recommended, so it has gone now. And I can do all the coding over here in the middle. Anyway, in the FTP client now, what I'll do is FTP client. First and foremost, I'll change the working directory. So the working directory right now I need is USB one slash upload. So just do that. One comma one slash uploads. Then few other things which I'll have to check is just set file type. And this is nothing but FTP dot binary file type yeah, because we are going to set the in a binary form. The streaming is in the binary form. We may have to set up some few more things. One is the transform mode set. Transform mode that also will be same. FTP dot binary file type. Enter local passive mode. So these are the few things which you have to set and send command. Yes. Yeah, you can copy paste as it is these two things from my code. Now anyway, uh, once these are done, then you can proceed by using something called FTP client store file. Yeah, and over here you may have to give the remote file name. So we can use something called remote file dot jpg and comma the stream whatever we have created just now above and that's all i guess do one more thing we can just take the status we can capture the status of this return boolean status and in the text view we can print the status set text status plus string dot value of and boolean status here yeah. that's all i guess now we have only we close the input stream we can also close our ftp client we can put, no, not log in but log out and we can also disconnect so that's all let me rerun this code and see so what it's saying over here ah so Oh no, I just ignored it. So probably what I can quickly do it is I can just remove this part. Control X and I can bring it within this. Yeah, this will be a quick fix. And I'll read on the code. So let me see how it happens. Okay, so I will have to probably enter the password here. I have entered the password. And if I go back here, so there is no file right now. And you know, status is true. So something has happened. If I go here and refresh, so a file has come up. Perfect. If I change it to this mode, yeah. So it's a 8kb file which has got uploaded. So let me copy or open it. So I open this file and yeah, so remote file and this is the image file. So if I go back to my initial file 
I don't know why it came up again. So, and this is the file which we uploaded and which is there. So that's all. I wanted to show you the code here uh, that you have to first use the FTP client to connect and convert your local file into an input stream and then use something called as a stored file to upload that. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a nice day.